everyone. Um, I'm back in Madison. After two weeks in Finland, I'm not sure which time zone I'm in right now. Um, I'm actually very tired right now. Um, as I'm getting older, um, the jet lag just hit me harder. Um, while in Finland, I, w- I would wake up early in the morning and felt very sleepy in late afternoon. Even if I stayed up until midnight, I still wake up around 5 in the morning. It just My body just totally confused. Um, but anyway, the day before I came back, we had a chance to visit Helsinki. Uh, we had some good food and uh, we went to their art museum, uh, their shopping mall, and also their new library, central library. It's just opened last month. Uh, it's a magnificent building beautiful architecture. So next time, if you are there, you must go visit that library. It's a very cool place. So today I would like to give you an overview of my backpack for travel. You've probably already seen that in my previous video and wondering which one that is. For the past several years, I've been using this one uh, made by Thule. Uh It's a small backpack. It carries um, one camera body with three lenses. And the special part is that it has a top compartment here. Um, I can throw in some accessories and uh, also my headphones. Uh, it's a very good size for travel. It's lightweight, waterproof. Um, so it has been serving me well for the past several years. And as I'm doing more video work, especially restarting this YouTube channel, um, I need a bigger one. I, I wish they have a bigger one. Uh, has a bigger version of this. Uh, but they don't. So um, I need a bigger one, but not as big as my Mountain Smith's Parallax. It's a huge backpack, not meant for travel. So I've been searching for a while and found this one. It's made by a German company called Kampagno. They last summer they successfully run a Kickstarter campaign and finally make this into production. So I ordered one directly from them um, because there is no retailer in US carrying this backpack yet. Um, so as, a, as you can see, it's. A little bit wider, um, taller, and also a little bit thicker. Um, especially, it also has a, it can open on the side, same as this one. It's different side, but you can access camera from the side here. So let's take a look at this backpack. Um, on the top, it has a roller top. So you can put some stuff here. Um, it doesn't provide as much protection as my Thule backpack because that one has a hard compartment, top compartment. Um, but this is just um, a roller top. But I can still throw in my jacket, um, headphones in here, no problem. And an interesting design here is this buckle. 
you can just put in this like a magnet you can just snap in and it's locked and to open it you si slide it sideways so I think it's a very interesting design and very easy to use and on the front it has a very flat compartment uh, you can have some document um, pens or phones in here um, put my phone here or passport, uh, pen, um, and some cable, small cable, cables here. That's the front. And on one side, this side also has a pocket, but I don't put anything here because I usually carry my tripod here. It has a small pocket here, so you put your tripod leg inside here and carry your tripod um, this pocket is kind of small so I couldn't put a water bottle here mm. on the other side it also has the same pocket but I wouldn't put anything here because this is how I access my main camera here so open this up this is approximately the size of the 1DX Mark II so I put my 1DX Mark II here so I can easily access the camera from the side while, while the, the backpack is still on my shoulder. So I can access this way. And then to access the main compartment is actually from the back. The back panel is actually made by the backpack company Deuter. Uh, it's very comfortable. Um, and to access this compartment, just open this up. So on the cover here, the back panel, um, you can put a laptop here. It's a pocket here. You can put the laptop up to 15 inches. So I can put my laptop here, but it will make the, everything just just heavy so I usually put my laptop in my carry-on luggage but sometimes I need to put this in my backpack so this comes in handy and uh, the main compartment look like this uh, you may think this kind of a weird configuration but I put 1DX Mark II here it can access from the side yes was one uh, the 1635 lens and then I put my microphone here and down here I can put another body with one lens and one more lens here and then this part I can put I actually separate it into two parts down bottom here I put this is actually put my drone so I put my controller underneath that and batteries and then my Mavic 2 Pro in this um, part. And then I can throw in some filters or accessories um, and fresh light in this but this we just push up this part to make this uh, backpack taller. Um, so that's just some extra room to use. Okay. And uh, on the shoulder strap, if you watch my previous video, um, I put my GoPro on the shoulder strap and this is the, the Peak Design POV Capture Clip. So I can carry my GoPro um, with my backpack. So in general, um, I'm very satisfied with this backpack. Um, although it's not perfect because I cannot carry any water bottle with this backpack. Um, and I hope, I wish the, the top part, the opening, this opening has some zipper or magnet to make this 
closed, not just like open. This will make this uh, part more secure. Um, but it's not a big negative. Um, but overall, I like this backpack and it suits my needs. If you know any other options or better options, please leave your comment below. Um, I, I know a lot of photographers are looking for the perfect backpack for a while and I know there is no perfect one and so everybody just keep searching. Uh, so if you know any other options, please leave your comment below and uh, I'd love to learn other backpacks. Um, hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next week.